Hi, today on Glass Chat, how to, I was going to show you how to cut a basic circle in glass. Um, first, most important thing that we use is a glass cutter, a circle cutter. Uh, these are available at a lot of different suppliers. Uh, basically, a suction cup with a carbide tip uh, circle glass cutter on the end. And it might be difficult to see, but it has measurements for the uh, diameter of the circle you want to cut. You just move this up and down to the diameter that you're looking for. And today I'm going to cut it in a piece of double strength glass. Double strength is meaning it's an eighth of an inch thick. Um, there's a scrap piece I have. I was just going to cut a piece and show you how I do it. First of all, um, I center the cup in the middle of the piece of glass. You can see it holds on that pretty good. And then I just make sure that it's going to clear all the edges and I don't have any obstructions as I try and move my cutter around in a circle. You want a nice, smooth, continuous uh, cut as you do it. Now I use oil when I do it. So I'll take a little bit of oil and, and dab it on the glass right where the cutting wheel is. And then not, I'm not scoring it, I just want to follow that uh, cutter around to get oil all the way around where I'm cutting. Okay, now it's ready for me to score. And when I can hear that crunch noise there at the end, you know the two ends have met. Then I pop the circle cutter off here, remove that. Now you might be able to see there's kind of a, uh, you can see the score all the way around the glass. Now some of the mistakes that are made when people do circles is then they would take their glass cutter and score it now and try and peel the glass off the circle. Um, what can happen then sometimes is as you score it, even if you don't come all the way to the edge, uh, when you go to break it, it will break and break through the circle. So the best way i found to do it is to flip the glass over and just apply a little pressure and you start your run. When I get done here, you'll be able to see. I'm just running that cut all the way around until it meets. And I heard that click, and you can kind of see in the reflection. It might be hard on video, but it, you can see where it's, it's cut all the way through now. Basically, I've snapped it all the way through. Now then I flip it back over. And then I score, and I do it not all the way into the circle. I go about a half inch to, away from the circle. I score it in a couple different places here. The reason is, is if I just tick the edge of that, sometimes it can run all the way through. I usually cut it in four places, and then basically just peel this out. So I'll go ahead and snap that, and that. And then I have my circle. It's all ready to go. And that one came out pretty good. Then we generally we seam it. And by seaming, I mean we put it on a sand, sanding belt. Uh, you, I like to use a wet belt sander on the smaller items and just basically give it a nice edge so it's not sharp all the way around. And that's how you cut a circle. Thanks.